Good morning, WBP stars. I'm Nick. I'm the chef of Aprendiz in Bali, and I want to take you the whole day on a road trip. And we're gonna go visit the farm, and we're gonna go uh, fish market, and then we're gonna do the all all the things that I usually do during my day off. I hope you enjoy it, and I will show you a little bit of Bali and the real life of a chef. Yes, now we are here in Mount Batur, in uh, Kintamani, so we are on the way to the farm. It's still 30 minutes drive, but uh, I always prefer to stop here and have a look to the, to the lake from Batur, and Mount Batur. It's a volcano, he's sleeping, it's not like uh, the other one. But it's beautiful, you can see uh, from the lava in the past, <coughs> all the black. It's quiet, in the morning it's always quiet. Later today it's going to be uh, busy, a lot of tourists, but now it's uh, enjoy the silence. at the farm from uh, Owen and uh, Nunik is our uh, organic vegetable supplier once in a, once in a month I'm coming here uh, to check the produce what they have and what I can use for the next menu uh, so today I'm gonna check what kind of which kind of root vegetables they have at the moment because the salsa fee is not available it's out of season uh, Let's have a look. Um, I'm gonna give you the farmer because I'm here at the farm of Owen and you have the the list, the order, so you can tell it to him and can you also ask him to bring me after this visit from this farm to the second farm because I need all the root vegetables. So give him the order and then tell him that I need to go to this other farm as well and I wanna take all the parsnip and parsley root, like 10 kilos. Who's calling? <laughs> so I'm gonna give him. Here we have a buckler sorrel. We serve this with the with the duck dish, with the magret. So we have a tasty paste that we use, uh, baba ganoush, fermented uh, carrots, and we make a paste with the miso, and then we top it with buckler sorrel. It's also a little bit acidic, so it's really organic. <coughs> Beautiful. It's really nice, really nice. Okay. 
this is one of the reasons why I now and then come visit the farm because I actually forgot but the hibiscus is a perfect match and uh, is an addition an improvement for my dish with the pork with the pica lily pumpkin so we're gonna use the hibiscus with the pica lily pumpkin to enhance the flavors and it's also very nice colors so orange and purple perfect i'm happy <laughs> second farm now where we have the root vegetables and I want to check on the salsi feet because I'm not sure if they are still growing and I want to see the parsnip and parsley root so this farm came after it's now two or three years they're doing it so we're working already actually together for six years from the moment we started we were together and good and bad times Also uh, hydroponic. So they have also hydroponic, and we um, try to make also asparagus. Here they all start the small shoots, but the, the other side is, is more interesting on the field. Can uh, you see the parsnip? And uh, parsnip, Alian. You you see, you can see the parsnip. The parsley root here uh, and a parsnip. Oh, oh okay. Ah oh, shit. Again, yeah. Uh, parsley root. Ah, oh, parsnip. Panen kan kan? Flowers, yeah. hibiscus. Yeah. Perfect. Purple sorrel. Perfect sorrel, okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Sassifi. No, it's okay. Better for Bulam. Sassifi. Man, I don't know Sassifi, man. Bulan, Sassifi. Sassifi. Three bulan, oh. Three bulan, sampai four bulan. Four bulan. Four bulan. Four, four months. So he's just saying that we have to wait for four months <laughs> for having uh, the salsify again. So at the moment we have a, one of our signature dishes is a lobster, Canadian lobster with the salsify from, from here. Uh, we only use two ingredients. So like you see, we, we have to change the dish. We have to follow the farmer. If he doesn't have, we have to use something else. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here to check 
what other root vegetables they have. We're gonna combine it, and like I told you before, uh, we're gonna lacto fermentation to to change the flavors, to transform the flavors, and we're gonna look for the best uh, best technique that fits with this with the Canadian lobster to the lobster. So like this, yeah. Now we are in the fish market and uh, let's check if my uh, crab lady is there and the fish lady. Uh, they are really nice people. So I hope they are here and then we can buy some fish for tomorrow. Uh, maybe let's have a beer first because it's very hot and I'm thirsty. I'm really happy that my wife arrived and the two beautiful daughters because the guy he said that the fish is really with our friend, her friend, the fish lady. I call her the fish lady. And let's go check the quality and let's make sure that we have the best price. And she will do the negotiation because me as a white guy is 
better to have in Indonesia. You can see it's uh, it's like really fresh. Uh, everything is still inside. It's still quite hot. It's not soft. The eyes are still nice. Uh, we come here like every two weeks. Uh, it's a friend of my wife. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna clean this fish. We're gonna make a ceviche of it. Okay. Okay. I'm quite happy. The size is a little bit small, could be bigger. Let's see. But I'm happy. She's happy, I'm happy. Good price, 50,000. Can you take out the... Okay, No, 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 just the inside. Nothing. Just inside. It's good. Let's see. Yeah. Flathead, let's see. Flathead. Yeah, but this, this ice. Okay. Looks like a flathead, yeah. Itu karena aku tidak sedikit dan lebih kuat kan ini pada tahun lalu. Lalu bagi tu ya, kalau 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 bagi Barracuda, actually the meat is really nice if you want to make tartar or something from a barracuda, white fish, the meat is quite firm. I know they are a little bit aggressive. But actually, barracuda is a really nice fish. If you don't get attacked. So now, this is like, they call it like a duver sole, like a, in Europe you have a duver sole, so it's a flat fish. Like you can see the eyes are on, on top of it, so he's, he's swimming like this. You can fillet, you can cut off, and it's white flesh. The only difference with the Europe is this meat is more soft, and in uh, Europe the sole, the duver sole is more firm. 
But it's a perfect fish to to work it. I mean, uh, it's really nice. I think I'm gonna buy it as well. Maybe tomorrow we do soba with me. Let's see else what we have. And I want to meet also the the crab lady. She has always live crab from uh, Papua. I can see also uh, some tuna, small tunas. I think I'm in heaven for the moment. So let's go around in the, the fish market and uh, let's have some fun. And maybe we can see new inspirations. Yo. The blue oh, just okay. want to explain you about the three thing. So we use Papua crab for our dishes. You can see the Papua crab. The shell is really much harder. There's more meat inside. They are still alive. Lucky, they have bondage. <laughs> Otherwise, they are dead meat. And then we have also the crab, Surabaya. It's a bad thing. It's a the claws are much smaller, the shell is much thinner, it's not really what we need. But also, if you have the, the Papua crab, like you can see, is, is strong, but also the meat is more, more firm, so it's more, a, little, a little bit more sweet. So we have, it's, a, it's a perfect quality and still alive. Uh, Good price. You always have to negotiate because every week they change their price. But that's why I have my wife with me to to discuss this. Yes. So we're gonna buy uh, like I think four crabs for tomorrow. You can negotiate. Satu kilo nya isi dua. Isi dua? Yeah. Yeah. Yang kecil kecil ada. A big one. One kilo. 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 One the wife and the two kids, they like chili crab. So it's a very Singaporean dish. So when we come here, uh, this is perfect. So when we come here, they always want to order also extra crab for themselves to eat at home. Uh, look at this. I really like the quality here. You can say, uh, you can see, it's not like in Europe, the fish market, <laughs> but it's, it's fresh. There is no discussion. They don't do anything with it, they just put it here, sell it, that's it. So sometimes you have to be generous because you, you, you respect what they are doing and you give a little bit more, you can always get a better quality, that's how it works. You give some, you get some. If he gives us the best quality, yeah, let's uh, check out the fish market. So maybe we see something interesting for the next menu or to have a trial. I saw a nice octopus. Here we go. I love octopus. We just did the fermentation of a pumpkin and it tastes like a chorizo. So I think octopus, chorizo, but let's have a look because there are so many things. Hello, hello, Marie. Sweet, you have so many. Sepia, like a sea cat. And 
And it's so funny to see that the people just smoking all around. It is no policy and actually to be honest nobody can take over it. As long as fish fish it's fine. All the different kind of prawns. You have a river prawn, a sweet prawn, you have a sea prawn. This is one of the most uh, used fishes in uh, Bali. It's a mahi mahi. It's a really nice fish. It's very tender. It's very. And he, he's big. And if you want to see, it's very fresh. You can look to the. That's why I love so much the fish market because whatever you see, you can check yourself, you can control if it's not good. Big business in France, you know. <laughs> Everywhere you have drones. Uh, I just saw something. I think if you want to have a lobster family style on the middle of the table, you can consider this one. Eh? Slipper lobster, so fresh, still alive. Yes. Okay. You cannot find any fresher product than this. I mean, still in the sand, very alive. This is good for one one person. This is better than Canadian lobster, but it's very red. Oh no, Terry. I think now is the season of the mussels. But the, like you can see, all the mussels are quite old. They are open, so I, I should not buy uh, the mussels at the moment. I only want to buy mussels that are closed. You want crab too? What do you have here? Lobster and corn. So we have also the oyster, but for the oyster I only trust my own supplier because I know where they come from and which one they were. And here you, you're not really sure how long they are here or in the maybe dirty water. So as you know the oyster is feeding himself with the environment he's living in. Okay, you know I'm not. I don't know. Not for me. <laughs> like I said, only quality first, and more drones. Too many drones. I don't want to say too much, but uh, you can see the difference in quality. Uh, I don't want to show it. But, uh, some fishes, they get some uh, injections. <laughs> you 
can go around the whole way, but uh, I don't think it's really necessary because you're gonna see all the time the same things. You're gonna see a lot of prawns. It was nice that we have the nice alive slipper lobster. Now I know also that the season is there for the for the mussels. But as you could see, the, all the mussels are open. So for me, it's not a it's not a good idea to to buy here mussels. It's not a good idea to buy here uh, oysters because the oysters you don't know how long they are here and uh, all the other fish. Now we are here in Siminiak on the beach. We go to La Plancha, it's the first place that had the bean bags and the colorful umbrellas. I really like this place. This is the place where I want to watch the sunset with a beer, with a big tank, a local beer. Just chill. This is really Bali life. After a hard work week, this is what you want. You just want to chill. You want to see the sun going down, the ocean, live music after sunset, and then after we go to Naughty Nuris because I'm a naughty boy. <laughs> It's uh, my first spot I came here when I was on holiday in uh, 2010 to Bali. So uh, La Plancha was the first one with the bean bags, with the nice colored umbrellas, beautiful sunset, a lot of people, a lot of girls. I cannot say this now, I'm married, but anyway, it's a beautiful spot to be. And now it's time to have more beers. Later we're gonna have some beautiful pork ribs and naughty nuris. Naughty nuris. And then later we're gonna have some chilled drinks with some friends and then the day will be finished. This is the real life of a chef in Bali. Market, having sunset, couple of beers. I'm starving. I think I need some naughty nuris ribs. Let's go, naughty nuris. Here we are, naughty nuris. Let's go, naughty nuris with the ribs. Yeah. So we had a whole day traveling around markets, sunset, beers. I'm so hungry. Let's dig in. Thank you. 